today. Today we are making a pocket so like in in uh, uh and you will need need any bottle with a large cap. Major marshmallows. Balloons and a saw. We will all be using and we will be cutting the the uh, uh, lid off from the bottle. Well, I drew a li line to show oh, where where it is. And we will be using that so, uh, to cut on the line. We found that a wood saw works a lot better and and do, do, do use the, the, the sanding block or sanding paper. So what we need to do is we need to get this so that it's flush all the way around. We can see we've got a couple of high spots from cutting it, but it's pretty good in most of the other surfaces. So we're going to keep sanding for a while. Save the ring. We're going to need that later. And we're going to need to cut the balloon right above where the, the neck meets the body of the balloon. Right about there. We're going to try to make it as straight as we can. Let's we'll see if that works. We put it the balloon over the, uh, the ridge here from the other direction and then put the ring on like this and it holds it just as well but the upshot is now you can collapse your balloon into a little ball and you can put the threads back on and it goes in your pocket nice and tight so there you go This weekend and he and I were talking about the I think it's called pocket shot um, they're little rubber uh, they'll, well, they'll, they look like the slingshots that he and I just built uh, you're about to see in this video and I, I kid you not um, he and I came up with the idea for how to do it over the weekend while we were camping and when we got back from camping I found that not one but two major YouTube uh, video producers had produced videos about the same thing. Uh, Jorg Spray from the Slingshot channel and Grant Thompson, the King of Random, both produced videos in the last 
three days or something like that um, showing how to make little pocket slingshots out of a balloon so um, I promise you we're not trying to copy them we just all had a really good idea at the same time apparently and they beat me to the punch because apparently they don't have to stay home and watch their kids so um, anyway I will uh, post our video anyway what I have going for me in my video is my son who is ridiculously smart and cute in my opinion I realize I'm biased but anyway we had fun they work and um, I, I kind of I, I wonder if Grant Thompson has bugged my house because his video really had almost all the exact same components of what I wanted to put in mine um, little mini marshmallows and uh, the whole bit so um, I'm not copying off of him his video is great he produced a way more polished video and a way more polished product than what I did but um, it just that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes so anyway I'm gonna post the video anyway because my son put a lot of uh, effort and he really wanted to see this video posted on YouTube so don't blast me in the comments for copying someone else I know someone's already done it thanks bye